welcome to this part of the computer architecture tutorial. Uh, today, we will demonstrate the pipeline, um, uh, the, the instru instructions, and how are they inserted into the pipeline. So, uh, let's look at the question. The question says, consider a pipeline with forwarding hazard detection and one delay slot for branches. So that says a lot about the properties of the pipeline. It has uh, forwarding, meaning that it can bypass uh, the value of uh, uh, the calculated uh, stuff from one stage to another. It has hazard detection, meaning that it detects the structural hazard, the data hazards, and the control hazards. Uh, it has one delay slot for branches. What does that uh, mean specifically? Uh, that means that the instruction following the branch instruction uh, is delayed for one slot. Uh, why it is delayed? Because we said that the, uh, the value of uh, the branch is calculated uh, after the decode stage in our architecture. So, to avoid the loss of uh, flushing the instruction uh, following in case of misprediction, uh, we stall the whole pipeline one slot uh, to wait to know whether the branch was taken or not taken. Here, uh, afterwards, uh, the question says that it has fetch decode, execute memory, and write back stages. Uh, so uh, let's start uh, looking at the code. So our first step would be detecting the hazards in the code. Uh, so first one, what does it, first instruction, what does it do? It adds R1 to R0 and put it in register R4. Uh, second an instruction takes the value of R4, uh, subtract it from the value in R3, and put it in R9. So the value of R4, when will it be uh, available? It will be available after the fifth time slot, after the uh, or the, the fourth time slot, sorry, and it's named from zero, um, after the write back stage. So here we have a data dependency, a true data dependency. Uh, that we should have the uh, good value of R4, the correct value of R4 uh, here. Afterwards, we add R5 to R6, put it in R4, very good. Um, we load the effective address of R3 plus main plus 100 and put it in uh, our register R2. R3 is good. Afterwards, we uh, take the effective address of R2 plus 0 and put it in R2. Here we have another hazard because R2 may not have been uh, available when we need it in I4. I5 uh, stores uh, uh, the value of uh, uh, the, the value of uh, R2 into mem if the effective address of R4 plus 100. So here we have another hazard because the R2 may not be available as well because it's calculated in the previous instruction. I6 takes R2 and R1, good. Branch shift equal R9 equal equal R1 to the target and instruction eight and R9 and R, uh, and R1 and put it in R9. So here, do not forget to add the one delay slot for branches. So, I have a question here. Do we have a dependency of R9 on R9 here? That's a common mistake. Well, we do not have a dependency here because the branch, what it does is it compares the value in R9 to the value in R1 and uh, branches. If they equal, branch to the target address. So, there is no assigning here, so the value of R9 will probably be good when we need it. So let's start filling out the table. First one is pretty straightforward. Fetch, decode, execute, memory, and write back. Uh, the following one, uh, we start by fetching. In the decode stage, we need to read the value from the register, but unfortunately, the hazard detection unit says, no, 
the value is not available yet. So we add a stall here with another app, fetch, fetch, decode, execute, memory, and drive back. Because uh, the value will probably be available after the execute stage because we're just adding and the addition happens in the execute. The following or uh, uh, doesn't perform any calculations. So the value of R4 will clearly be available in E. So the forwarding unit bypasses the value of register 4 from uh, time slot 2 to time slot 3. So let's complete instruction 2. Can we start fetching here? Actually, no, because we have another type of hazards called structural hazards. The uh, fetch unit is currently busy doing stuff with instruction 1. So we wait for another clock cycle. We start fetching here. Fetch, decode, execute memory, and write back. I3 doesn't have a problem. Fetch, decode, execute memory and write back i4 uh, start uh, we start having a problem from i4 uh, what is the problem the problem is that we need uh, to get the value of r2 and it's not yet available so when will be the value of r2 available is it here avail available after the execute stage unfortunately not because it's a load operation the load operation makes the value available after it fetches it from the memory. So it will be available here after the memory stage. So I can start bypassing here. So the next instruction can start fetching. I'll change the color. Fetching. Fetching. Again, fetching, decode, execute, memory, and write back. So, uh, I5. Uh, in I5, I can't start here because of the structural hazard, so I'll naturally start fetching here. In I5, uh, I uh, have to take the value of R2 and store it in the memory address of R4 plus R plus plus 100. So when the value of R2 will be available, it will be available also after the memory stage. So uh, we have to stay stalling still until, until uh, the value is bypassed from the memory here. So we we'll start fetch, 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 uh, decode execute memory and write back in instruction 5. Uh, getting to instruction set uh, 6. Uh, in, in instruction 6, we do not, we cannot start here, so we're starting from fetch, um, decode, execute memory and write back. Instruction 7, um, sorry, Fetch, decode, execute, memory, and drive back. So, in instruction 8, would, will, will of this be starting here? Unfortunately, no, because we have one delay slot. So, this will be uh, a stall, and we'll start uh, doing our uh, fetch, decode, execute, memory, and write back here. So, uh, the total is, uh, we, we took um, 19 clock cycles to do uh, the, the, pipe, the, the, the pipeline uh, representation of those assembly instructions. You may say that uh, it has a lot of stalls here, it, it takes a lot of time. Uh, yes, it can be done better, but compare that to... Uh, entering uh, uh, the instruction to take the full cycle and waiting uh, until it completes, then uh, taking the following instruction, it would be nine times four uh, clock cycles 